Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we're going to take a look at some items that I picked up at Walmart. Now, these are clearance items. And the clearance items, you can tell, because they will have a big yellow price tag on it. And it will say something like reduced or clearance or, you know, it will say something on there more than likely. Some of the items were damaged. Some of them are bakery items that are at their sell by date or very close. And some of them are things that were just discontinued. I think two of the things were discontinued. Um, the rest of them were either the packaging was damaged or it was a bakery item that was close to its sell by date. So like normal, I'm going to try to start with the crinkly things first. I always like to do those first so you don't have unexpected noises later in the video that I can see where that would be a problem. <laughs> like if you, I know I have a few videos that I like that are unintentional ASMR. They're not meant to be um, and it's just people talking, but for me it's very relaxing. And, but there's this one in particular that I really like, but there's a, the, like a, a bit of a loud noise, probably about 20 minutes into it. And sometimes it's loud enough to kind of wake me up a little bit, but I can overlook that because it's not meant to be ASMR, <laughs> but it is for me. All right. So I got some good stuff today. We have great items. All of these will be used. These are things that I can either use myself or I know someone who can. And with two boys in the house, and I have no problem uh, with food. It doesn't last very long. This first thing, look at this. I found a loaf of bread. This is sesame seed French bread. Fresh baked in store. Look at that. It looks like a giant hamburger bun. Look at all the sesame seeds on it. When I was a kid, I used to call them sesame streets. <laughs> I didn't understand the problem whenever I said Sesame Street's people would laugh. A Sesame Street bun. But this is a nice little loaf of bread here. And back here you're going to see a, a different barcode. This barcode is part of this sticker that we have here. And it says reduced on May 28th, 2021. So you know the date this was placed on the item. And I just happened to be standing there looking at the clearance items when a lady brought up um, some items from the bakery at the deli bakery in there. She brought up this loaf of bread while I was standing there. So I grabbed it. Now, normally this loaf of sesame seed French bread, and it's quite large. It's not sliced. It's normally only a dollar which I think is pretty good. And their bread is good. I mean, it's, it's good. You know, it's, I, I think it's a good value for your money. But since this one has a sell by date of May 28th, we went ahead and got 28 cents off. So it's only 72 cents. How about that? That's really great. Sesame French. It says so on the little clearance sticker. So this is the sticker I was telling you about. You see, it's just this big yellow sticker. It's hard to miss. And usually they're going to have this right next to any kind of uh, descriptive um, label on the item, especially baked goods like this. So it just comes in a clear plastic bag and it has a, like a dark gray twist tie and some loose little sesame streets in the bottom. And then they have the nutrition facts on the back. If you want to look at it and not want to eat it anymore, you can read that. Um, but then normally, see the barcode is going to be right here. It is covered up by the clearance barcode. And this barcode will ensure the reduction in price. So you will get this loaf for only 72 cents plus tax, which is really great. Yeah, I, I know people from other countries ask a lot. I get this question a lot from people in other countries. Does it bother you that you have to account for the fact that there's tax? Well, you know, I can't answer for everyone, but it's been that way all of my life. So it, you don't think about it. You just know that when you see this price, you're going to have to add 
some extra for tax. Now, each state has different tax rates. Um, the tax rate for food in North Carolina is pretty low. I think it's 2%. So it'll be less than two cents you're going to have to add to this. So if you're talking about food, it's not going to be a huge difference in price. It doesn't bother me. I mean, you just you just account for it, you know. You know there's going to be a, some tax added at the end. It's not a big deal. So, yeah, we have sesame French bread, and it's beautiful. Look at it. You could do anything with that. I kind of thought about taking this and making French um, garlic bread with it, not French toast. Garlic bread. French toast would be fine, I guess, but the sesame seeds, I think, might mess it up. I thought about slicing this up and using it to make garlic bread with because I like I like it to be kind of day old when I make garlic bread. It kind of holds together better. That makes some good garlic bread, I bet. So that was my plan for this when I saw that. And then we have another one. This one is very exciting. This one is full of personality. Yeah, and my son looked at it. He said, did they burn it? I said, no. Oh, it smells really good. You know, the everything bagel that has all this stuff on it? This is everything Italian bread. It's an everything Italian loaf baked in the store. It is also not sliced. And it smells just like an everything bagel. Mm, it smells really good. But it has everything on it. Now this one was also one dollar. The reduction here is 25 cents. And so we have the large yellow sticker here and it's 75 cents plus tax. Now, and it's in the same kind of bag. And again, it has the little dark gray twist tie up here. Very nice. Mm. It smells wonderful. I would love to cut this up and toast it. I love the way an everything bagel smells in the toaster. Oh my goodness. You can definitely smell the onion in it. It's like a, a roasted onion almost. Very nice. Very good. Now this one again, back here you have the nutrition facts. And right here is where you would typically find the barcode. It's going to be right at the bottom of this large label. This big label is just like a big sticker. They just smack it on there like that. And But when we have this, this is a special label, the little clearance label. And then when you go to scan it, this is the one you're going to scan. And it will ring up for 75 cents. You do want to check though. You want to make sure. And I did self-checkout, so I was able to look at everything as I scanned it. Everything rang up perfectly, just like it was supposed to. But it never hurts to check because sometimes, you know, there are little errors. And if you point it out, they'll, they'll fix it for you. It's no problem. But, yeah, you can see some of the little onion bits are stuck to the bag. Mm. That is a lovely, I love how it's, it's so pretty and golden brown. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Oh, it smells wonderful. I want to eat this now, but I can't because it's late and I don't want to eat this late. Oh, look at this. Mm. We also have a little packet of cookies. Look at this. Now you can't really see them very well because it's covered up. We have this little window right here. It's cellophane. And here you have the sell-by date, and it is today the freshness date. Best if used by May 28th, 2021. That's today. Um, and these are normally a dollar for three sugar cookies. These aren't just sugar cookies, though. According to this, they are market side decadent pearl sugar cookies baked with the perfect hint of vanilla. I don't know what the perfect hint is. Somebody at market side must know. They must have the code or something. I don't know what it is. Secret, secret ingredients, secret amount. 
I can't, I can't really smell it. I don't know why I'm sniffing here. I, well, I haven't opened it. You have these little tabs. Now, if you're really old like me, you might remember back, back in the dim and distant past, when you would buy a box of saltine crackers, they would give you these little um, foldable little, it was like a big wide twist tie that you could use to hold the pack of crackers closed after you opened it. I noticed they don't include those anymore. I don't know when those went away. I missed that somewhere along the way. Well, I have a kid now who loves to snack on saltine crackers, so I buy them a lot. I'm going to smell them. It smells like window cleaner. Hang on. I know that's not right. I feel like I have to sneeze. <laughs> it smells like a hint of window cleaner. I want to say yarn, but that can't be right. Yarn has a smell. You don't think so? Sniff a bowl of yarn sometime. Hmm, no, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't smell like cookies, really. That's weird. I'm sure they're lovely, though. Well, we know right now that they're decadent pearl sugar cookies baked with the perfect hint of vanilla. You can't go wrong there. I am going to close them back up, though, because no one is going to eat these right now. So I'm just going to take these little sides here and fold them over. Seal it up. But those, these will be completely obliterated and consumed tomorrow, I'm sure. <laughs> but these are just lovely little cookies. 3.75 ounces total for your three little cookies in here. And look at the cute little bag it comes in. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness. It's just a little paper bag from market side, which I guess is what they call the, the little bakery back there in the corner in Walmart. I don't know. But again, you're going to see back here, you can actually see a little bit of the, uh, the barcode. It's kind of peeking out. They slapped it on there sideways like they don't give a crap, but this is the clearance barcode. And this barcode originally was attached here. There's a perforation here. And when they remove this sticker from the little pricer gun thing they have, just beneath it right here would be the clearance barcode. And they'll peel that part off, put it right there. And that will give you the 66 cent price instead of a dollar. That's going to save you 34 cents. Very good. And I find with these cookies, you know, it says, you know, the freshness date is here a day or two beyond that. It's not really going to make any difference. They're still good. So we have a little packet of cookies. There are three cookies here. Three people in this house. I think I know how that's going to work out. <laughs> ah, okay. Now this item here was reduced. My older son said it looked like a canned good from the 50s. I don't really understand. He was taken aback by the brown on the can. He said, that just looks like a can of dog food. I said, I don't think so. It's a can of turkey gravy. Did you know you can buy gravy in a can? I did know that. It's made with real turkey. I'm assuming it's covered by the label. But that seems like where that would go. It sounds made with real turkey. I imagine that's what it says. This can here was originally 50 cents. It's not damaged. You can look it all over and see. It is an oddly flat little can. He was talking about how flat it was on the bottom. This bothered him for some reason. He said it doesn't look healthy. He said if gravy comes in a can, that's, you've really hit bottom. I didn't really appreciate his observations of the can of gravy because I've had canned gravy. It's perfectly decent. There's no need to, no need to run it down. The little humble can of gravy. It's only 50 cents, but today, the reduced price, we can have this can for only 38 cents. Then look at that. Great value turkey gravy. 12 cents off. 
Now back here you can see part of the barcode and they have put the clearance barcode right over it. I do believe this is an item that they have just discontinued and they are just no longer going to sell it or at least at this period in this point in time they're not going to sell it. Perhaps when we get back around the holidays like Thanksgiving they might have it again. But for now we have our turkey gravy for 38 cents. And it's great. They give you stovetop stove instructions or microwave instructions. You can just spoon it out, right out of the can and eat it if you just don't care about life. You can do that. I don't recommend it though. It's not very good room temperature. Treat yourself and heat it up first. Now these items are damaged. But not beyond. They, 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 have, they have life in them still. Now here we have... Ooh. Honey roasted peanuts. I love honey roasted peanuts myself. I do. I think they're wonderful. Now these are great value again. That is the Walmart brand. Great value. And they have the little Walmart guarantee right back here. Um, it probably says something like if you don't like it we'll give you your money back or something. Yeah, if for any reason you aren't happy we'll replace it or return your money, whichever you prefer. Aldi does better than that. They have the twice as nice guarantee, which I talk about. Not only will they give you your money back if you have an item you don't like or there's something wrong with it, not only will they give you your money back, they don't make you choose. No, they give your money back and give you a comparable item for free. It's even better. That's why I tell everyone to go there. I love Aldi so much. They don't even pay me to say that. I just like Aldi a lot. They've saved me a lot of money. I shop there every week. But this is great value. This was in Walmart because I love Pepsi. Aldi doesn't have Pepsi, so I have to go to Walmart for that. This right here was originally $1.98, looks like, because now because someone probably dropped it and looks like it's wearing a beret. It's kind of <laughs> like a little, you know, like a little beret. It's smushed. Look, it's very sad. It's like it's pulling its lip in just like that. But it, somebody undoubtedly dropped it or knocked it off the shelf and it came down and just hit the floor right here and then it just dented it right in here. So, but that, you can pop that out. You could probably just leave it that way if you wanted to. And here's the little barcode peeking out. They've covered enough of it so that the scanner will pick this up, not this. So this is your clearance barcode, again in yellow. You're going to save 49 cents with this damaged container of peanuts. It's only $1.49 for the 16 ounce container of honey roasted peanuts. Great value. It is a great value. That's not bad for $1.49. And they're very yummy. I, I love honey roasted peanuts. So these might be my treat. Yeah, they look pretty good. And you can recycle the plastic canister right here. It tells you that. You can recycle. And it's clear in case you don't know what peanuts look like. You can look pretty much anywhere except here. And you can see what they look like. They look beautiful. So these are great value. Honey roasted peanuts for $1.49. Just because it either got knocked off the shelf or it, someone dropped it. That's okay. I even got some busted grits. <sighs> they're not busted. They're dented. Look, now personally, I think you could just pop that right back out the same thing. Somebody probably dropped this. Now, let's see. These are instant grits. Now you have to know there are different types of grits. You have regular grits that you boil for about 20 minutes. You have quick grits, which take about five minutes. And then you have instant grits, like this little single serve container. These all you have to do is add hot water to it, mix it up, and it's ready to eat. 
Now, I prefer old-fashioned grits, the ones you have to cook for 20 minutes, but they do take longer, and you have to keep stirring them occasionally as they boil. But if you want some grits quickly, you can make instant grits. All you have to do is add, you just pull this top off, pour some water in there. Um, how much water do you add to it? Remove the lid. Add, okay. We, there's a line, apparently, I've never bought these before. Apparently, there's a line in here, and you fill it to that line wherever it, they don't give you a quantity of water. So you just, I guess you just pour in, you know, room temperature water. You microwave it on high for one minute to one minute, 15 seconds, and then stir it well, and then it's ready. So I guess if you have hot water, you don't have to heat it up. You just pour the hot water in there. Because back when I used to work in, a, in an office, that's what I would do. I would have little instant soup packets, and I'd pour them in a coffee cup. And I would go over to the coffee, the K-cup machine, or whatever coffee maker we had. We had different ones all the time. And there was always a hot water button, or a feature, or a lever where you could just get hot water. And I would just run hot water in there and mix it up. So you don't have to put it in the microwave. But this container, as you can see, is dented here. It comes in like that. And right here, it's dented. Right there. It's perfectly sealed. You can see the seal. And instant grits, it's just a powder. It's just a dry, I mean, it's a slightly gritty powder, which it's grits. You know the joke about the northerner that had never tried grits before. You've heard that? A lot of people up north don't don't know a lot about them. Lord, when I moved to Illinois, they didn't know. They told me to get cream of wheat. They said, isn't it the same thing? I'm up through it. No. So the northerner goes down south. And the waitress asked him, do you want some grits? And he said, I don't know. I've never had any. Why don't you bring me one grit and I'll try it? It's a stupid joke. Sorry. I don't mean to upset anybody. But it was just, I just, I'm holding grits and talking about them. I had to tell you that. So, clearance tag, 84 cents. And that tells you that it was reduced on May 17th. So it's been sitting there for 11 days. And this was the only one. And I thought, well, I could eat that. It's, I, I, I would never buy it. Even for 84 cents, I would not buy this because I think it's ridiculous. You can get a big container of grits for not much more than that. I think it's a waste of money. It's, I mean, it's convenient, but I, I think it's wasteful. I just, I don't think I need to pay that, you know. It just seems a bit much to me. So, but it's butter flavor. It says it's naturally flavored with butter. So, we have instant grits. I might have that in the morning. I don't know. We have another dented item. Now, it's not puffed out, so I don't think there's any botulism in here. You don't want to buy puffy cans. Don't do that. Now, these are great value organic. Did you know that Walmart has a nice line of organic foods and um, drinks and things? They do. This is great value organic garbanzo beans or chickpeas. My son said they look like teeth. He said it looks like a spoonful of teeth. I said it does not. He said it did. And according to this little happy jumping person, they're great for you. Yeah, so this little can of beans here has its barcode on the back and it's covered with this long yellow barcode. Now these are 71 cents. You're going to save 23 cents on this can. Isn't that amazing? Now, this was originally reduced on May 23rd, 2021, because as you can see, it was dented. Now, it might have come in that way, or maybe someone dropped it in the store. We don't know. It might have arrived dented. I don't know how they handle it if it arrives that way. I don't know if they just send it back. I really don't know how that works, but this is a 15 ounce can of garbanzo beans and it was only 71 cents and it's even organic garbanzo beans. 
and it has a pop top. I love cans with the little pop top on it. A lot of cans now do have this, so you don't have to go find your uh, can opener. I about said screwdriver. Don't try to open a can with a screwdriver. It would take forever. It would probably get very messy. But the little pop top is perfectly uh, intact. It looks wonderful. So we have a little can of garbanzo beans that we could put in something, perhaps. Now this one, this is a box. This is a box of macaroni and cheese. Thick and creamy. Yes, now this box was only 26 cents. It's not a huge savings. You only save 8 cents. Um, but that's okay. This was reduced today. I've never tried this kind before. It looks like the little, little flap here, the top, um, maybe popped up. Sometimes when they get these boxes, the glue that holds this part down doesn't work well and it just pops up like that. That could be what happened here, that it just sort of came loose and went wee like that, you know? Like, whew. and so they had to hold it down with a piece of tape. So you can see it's kind of shiny. It's a little piece of tape right here and it, it it's kind of folded over here. It's wrinkled. Macaroni and cheese, thick and creamy. Doesn't it look wonderful? My son said, I'm not eating that. It probably has strychnine in it. <laughs> I said, who is going to go to the trouble of going into Walmart and putting that in here? I mean, don't they have things better to do, but maybe they don't. He said, well, I'm not eating it. I said, that's fine, because I could eat this whole box by myself. I don't know. Yeah. So, 26 cents for this lovely box of macaroni and cheese. You have to add, I will add milk and a little bit of butter to it, probably. It says, to, ooh, four tablespoons of margarine or butter. I don't ever add that much. Um, I put a little bit in there. I don't put that much in there. Um, half a cup of milk and the cheese sauce packet. And then you stir it all up. Mm. I will never get tired of eating this stuff. It's like that, that song, if I had a million dollars, we wouldn't have to eat craft dinner, but we would. <laughs> I totally would. It wouldn't matter. Yeah, so this is probably going to be mine because I like to live on the edge. I like to live dangerous, uh, dangerously. I'll eat it. I don't care. <laughs> I grew up eating stuff like that, so I don't care. I haven't died from it yet. I forgot this crinkly thing. Now these are not damaged. This is an item that was discontinued. They had a whole box of these right here and they were all this flavor. Sweethearts ropes. Now I've, I'm not familiar with this. Colors from real sources. They don't say what the sources are. We just know that they're real. I mean, it could be like a nuclear reactor. It could be from a dye plant. We don't know. They're real sources though. That's some slippery wording right there. That's lawyer speak for we don't want to be pinned down on where they come from. We're just going to say it's real. But it's it's like radioactive and green. Look at it. It's, it probably glows in the dark. These are sweet tarts robes sour apple flavor and it says that they're new and this store has already discontinued it so I don't have high hopes that these are tasty maybe they are but it's a share pack which is hilarious because whichever kid of mine gets these will not be sharing them with anyone they will squirrel them away somewhere and and eat them later but I don't like sour stuff. Both of my kids do. I don't like sour stuff. Here is a tart tartism. I didn't know there was such a thing. Tartism number 582. Stay square in this round world. Follow your tart. <laughs> That's cute. So it's it looks like a tube of chewy stuff and then it has filling in it that has flavor of some sort. 
it's enlarged to show detail. So it's little soft and chewy sweet tarts ropes. Wow, that's healthy. Three and a half ounces. You can see the little price here. This is the clearance price. This sticker is small. I guess they can make different sizes depending on what they're putting it on. This was a dollar forty-eight. Now it's only seventy-five cents. Wow, I only got one. They also had um, some type of Kit Kat bar, but I didn't see what it was. They had several boxes of the Kit Kat bars. I think it was dark chocolate and something dark chocolate, and then the filling had a flavor, but I don't remember what it was. I didn't get any of those. Now my son said this looked like a little fire hydrant, and I didn't notice it until he said that, but it really does. It looks like a miniature fire hydrant. This was another item that had been discontinued. It's not damaged in any way. This is Old Spice Daily Hydration Hand and Body Lotion. Very nice. It has vitamin E in it, 24 hour moisture, skin feels healthier. Now this item was originally $6.97 for this 16 ounce bottle of lotion. It has the little pump on top. It's a beautiful red. I do like it. It's very nice. It has the matching pump. And it was on clearance for only $3 for this big container of lotion. I'm not going to keep this. I'm going to give this away. But I thought that was neat. I didn't even know Old Spice made a lotion was very interesting. What does it tell us? Daily hydration. Here at Old Spice, we take moisturization seriously and created a lightweight formula infused with vitamin E, as in vitamin each pump, as in vitamin each pump of this lotion makes your skin look and feel healthier all day. Hardy horror. Directions apply liberally on skin as needed. Avoid contact with eyes. If you have dry eyes, don't put this in there. That's dumb. Established 1938. That's pretty. I had no idea they made lotion. Well, they might not be making it much longer. It could just be that they're just not going to carry it at this particular store anymore. I don't know. I, I didn't even know it existed before today, but it does. I didn't smell it. What, let's see what it smells. Is it going to make a noise? I don't want it to make a loud pop. Train wants it to make a noise. It just smells like Old Spice. Boy, it's strong too. I think I got it on my nose. It just smells like Old Spice. It smells like my grandpa. <laughs> he used to use Old Spice after shave. Mm. Yeah, but it's it just smells like Old Spice. It's really, really strong too. I don't know. I was going to see if Glenda the Good Witch wanted it, but he doesn't. I don't know if he would want this. I don't know if he would want to go around smelling like this. Okay, now I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to walk around smelling like that. I'll, find, I'll do something with it. Okay. Now here, my older son was examining all of these items, trying to figure out what happened to them. He was venturing guesses as to how they each got damaged. Here we have a box of Honey Nut Cheerios, which is a big favorite here. Honey Nut Cheerios, made with real honey. We have this heart-shaped bowl. It can help lower cholesterol as part of a heart-healthy diet. Now this box here, it looks like the top was damaged. It's like somebody punched it and hit it for some reason, like taking out their anger on this poor little box. It's dented here. You can see it's kind of bowed out a little bit. They put tape on the top and it looks like someone tried to open it and then they ripped it right there. Why would someone do that to a box of cereal? I don't understand. But we are able to save 91 cents as a result of this damage. And we get a free piece of tape right there. It's only $2.73 for this nice box of cereal. Well, so yeah, this this was reduced today also, May 28th. What about the fire extinguisher? It was reduced 
on May 23rd. So it's been there. They had several of them. So that's been there for five days. But this is, how big is this box? 19 and 19.5 ounces of delicious cereal. But you do have the tape across the top. I'm assuming the bag inside has not been opened and it was just exterior cosmetic damage. Look at that. Beautiful. I do like the colors. See up here it's this pretty brown and then it fades down here and it sort of becomes yellow down at the bottom. It's very pretty. And on the back we have a honey maze that the honeybee made. So you could get in the little maze and figure out how to get to the center. I don't know. You get in there somehow and it makes sense like a giant cheerio. A buzzworthy choice. Real honey, amazing taste. For only $2.73, you get this giant box. That's a wonderful deal. And I'm not really worried if it's just damaged up here. I don't care because my younger son eats a lot of these. And for the life of him, he cannot open a box of cereal. I don't know what it is. Have you ever seen how kids open boxes of cereal? He just, it looks like a wild animal, didn't it? It's like a honey badger got a hold of it. It's like it's just ripped. And I, I've tried to explain, you know, just take your time opening it. You can open it without tearing it apart. I don't know. It's very furious looking when he's done with it. It looks like a, it looks like he threw it in a wood chipper. I mean, it's just all shredded in ways that make no sense. And then he, he tries to open the plastic bag inside. It always splits down the middle. And then I have to pour it in something to keep it from going stale. Because, of course, we can't reseal that plastic bag in there. Heaven forbid they should put a, something on it so you can seal it up. That would make too much sense. I got one more bakery item. Now, these, these things... I don't know. At first, I thought... I thought these were uh, like a different type of donut. They're really heavy. I've never in my life, now apparently, these are just regular glazed donuts. I've never seen a donut, just a regular donut with that much glaze on it. It's probably a quarter inch thick at least on these donuts. They're heavy. This is, this is more than a pound easily for these six donuts. But the freshness date on here is today, May 28th. So we only, it only reduced the price 83 cents down to 214 for these six count glazed donuts. They, I mean, they're pretty, I don't really eat donuts. Um, my kids will probably eat them. Although they looked at them like I did it the same way. They said, what kind of donut is that? I said, it's just a regular glazed donut. They said, no, it's not. They have, what is that on them? I said, it's glaze. I mean, you can see it down in there. Yeah, it's, um, I've never seen donuts with that much glaze on them. It's just coated up in the bottom of the box. So you have this car, like this paperboard box here, and it has this large area of cellophane. So you can see your donuts. And you're so close, so you just get them. Mm. Now, I, I, I really, I, I can't eat donuts. They, they, they give me heartburn. This is the only food I know of that does that to me. Except when I was pregnant with my younger son, everything gave me heartburn. I couldn't eat anything. Like everything I ate gave me heartburn for months. Just with him, not my, my older son. I didn't have that problem. It was weird. Um, I also had carpal tunnel with my younger son, which I didn't have with the older one. It was odd how it, you, you expect every pregnancy to be the same. They can be totally different. Uh, so, yeah, my, my two were very different. I, but I can't eat these. They're just, yeah, I don't know. It's not worth it to me. I mean, I like donuts, but they don't like me. But those were only $2.14 for a half dozen, which for a half dozen donuts, is, I think it's a pretty good price. Donuts are expensive. Now, this was a wonderful find. They only had one of these. This is Scotch packaging tape. And I do sell things on eBay from time to time. 
I keep, I do it just to kind of keep, you know, in practice because they do change how they, how, they, how you list things occasionally. I want to stay up to date. And if I have to mail anything, I need tape. So this is Scotch packaging tape. And it even has quiet and easy unwind, which is nice. The less expensive tape usually is very noisy uh, and thinner. This is very nice tape. They're not big rolls, but you get six of them for only $6.83. These were reduced. I think they're just discontinuing it at this Walmart. You save $4.56. That's a fantastic deal. And you have this shrink wrap on it here. And it's, you can see where it was sealed off there. And the little paper board underneath. So yeah, that's, um, that's great. I will definitely use that. Um, so this is your barcode here. I'm assuming the regular barcode is under this large sticker here. 683 and this that amount of tape would last me quite a while even though they're kind of small rolls I don't use a lot so it, it would take me oh my god it would take more than a year to use all that up because I don't sell a lot of stuff on there this one's heavy we got a big container of 100% whole grain quick oats now, oats are another thing. You can get the old-fashioned oats, or you can get quick oats like this that cook in a minute. The old-fashioned oats take longer. Not a lot longer, though. Now, these are also great value here. I used to love these containers. My mother used to get Quaker oats when I was a kid, and I would use it like a drum after she emptied it. I'd put the lid back on it, and it makes a nice little drum when it's empty. Or I would use it like a piggy bank. I would cut a, a slit in it and use it for like a little piggy bank. Now it looks like this was dropped probably or knocked off the shelf because you can see here where it's sort of caved in a little bit. Ooh, they have a recipe on the back for oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Ooh. Oh, I don't think I've ever made oatmeal chocolate chip cookies before. I bet that's good. Maybe we could do that in a cooking video. We could make that. I have some other ideas, though, that I want to do in some baking. Well, one's not really baking. I have this recipe I want to show you. But you don't really have to bake anything. It's very easy, but it's really neat. That has nothing to do with this. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could do that someday. Oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. There's the barcode, and again, kind of at a slant, we have the clearance barcode there. This is only $1.85 for this giant two-pound, 10-ounce container of quick oats, and they're very good for you. Think of all the meals you can make, All the even if you just made it, you know, like a bowl of this to eat, you could add some strawberries to it, maybe a little bit of sugar, or, you know, something, some honey, I don't know. You can make a ton of food with this. It is only $1.85, and that's only 61 cents less than the regular price. So even, even at the regular price, I think that's a great deal. You know, if you're looking to increase your di uh, fiber intake, maybe a more heart-healthy diet, oatmeal is a great option for that. And it's very filling too. I mean, it's it, you you know you can eat this and it's going to stay with you longer than like you know a donut or something. <laughs> but it's oh, it's so good for you. It's so incredibly good, incredibly good. You just have to watch what you add to it. You know, if you add a whole bunch of sugar, you know, it kind of negates the goodness. But yeah, so we have quick oats from great value, and of course there's a seal under here. You could pull that off, and then after you get some out, you just put this plastic lid back on it, and that's going to keep it fresh for you. Less than $2 for all this oatmeal. You could, you could eat really well with that. And my son had a field day with this box. I, this is the last thing I wanted to show you. <laughs> okay, this is a box of little packets of Cheez-Its. 
and I know school is almost over, but my younger son likes to take stuff like this in his lunch. It won't last the summer, I know. But I, I've had to start, you know, getting stuff for lunches again, and I just, I kind of forgot it was the end of the school year. It's crazy how fast this year has gone, the school year. Um, I was thinking about lunches when I bought this, but he can just eat them here. Or whatever these are just original cheeses they're little cheese crackers and they're really good there are 20 little packets in this box now this box my son laughed hysterically he said look at it it's crushed in here it's torn it's crumpled here he said did somebody just kick this thing down the aisle did they play soccer with it I mean what how do you end up with a box crushed like this I said I don't know Oh, and it's crushed up here, too. <laughs> he said it's crushed on three sides. I said, I know. He doesn't understand why I buy this stuff. Now, because the box is crushed, none, none of the packets are missing. It hasn't actually been opened. You're going to save $1.72 on this package of Cheez-Its. 20 packs. It was only $5.16. And over here we have the barcode, and you can see again the slanted clearance barcode right there. So that's what scanned, and it did ring up 516. I checked as I scanned everything I wanted to make sure. But yeah, this was put out on May 27th, so they put this out yesterday. Nice little box of Cheez-Its, and these won't last. These will be gone. These will be gone within a week. He will eat, my younger son will eat all of these. <laughs> He, he loves little packs of things like this. It looks like there's a perforation here. Little thing there. And I guess you just pull something off. I don't know. It's perforated here. I don't know. It's interesting. But I thought that was a pretty good deal. Only five sixteen for 20 packets of Cheez-Its. And sometimes I, I like to keep snacks like that. Like if we're taking a road trip somewhere, they can just grab a couple of those to eat on the way so we don't have to stop and get anything to eat. I don't know. It's just very handy. But that was everything that I found in the clearance section today at Walmart. There was other stuff, but it wasn't. It was either stuff that didn't interest me or it was a little too damaged or something like, or it wasn't reduced very much and I just didn't think it was a very good deal. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.